G'day, it's Phil here, and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking through $2 coins again, looking for commemorative coins, rare coins, and coins worth more than face value. Again, we've got my $2 collection book, already partly filled with the coins that we've found so far. Actually, nearly completely filled. On the front page, we only, only need to find the very first coloured coin commemorative, the 2012 Remembrance Day Red Poppy as well as the 2017 Possum Magic Happy Hush. We have all the other colored commemorative coins that have come out up until the Frontline Workers coin, which is on the third page. And we're missing the Honeybee coin from uh, this book, but we don't have a placeholder for it either because it came out after I started this book off. So it doesn't have a placeholder like the others do. So we'll try and find that that coin, those coins, and as well as other coloured coins worth more than face value or worth keeping. We've got a number of uh, keepers that we're, we're always looking for, any coloured coins, any, any commemorative coins. But specifically right now, the Happy Hush and the 2012 Red Poppy. The 2012 Red Poppy is a bit of the holy grail of the coloured coins in Australia because it was the f the first and also a quite lowly minted coin in and of itself and very desirable very desirable so and I have been hunting for that coin for some time now I think we're in episode 66 uh, which is a, quite a while uh, if we do one hunt a week or something like that it is over a year Having said that, there are other coin tubers in other parts of the country or other parts of the world that have been looking for particular you know, coins and filling up their albums for well over that 66 number. But I've been thinking lately about how I might go about doing that, filling that book in, if uh, it's such a struggle to find a... A red poppy we have a 2020 uh, no just a very shiny 2020 and the 2020 two dollar coin just the aboriginal elder is quite highly minted at 11.8 so i let those ones go through to the keeper So yeah, I've been thinking of ways of, of uh, how to do, how to fill out the red poppy if it's going to be such a struggle to get it done. Uh, and I have latched onto a what I think is a, a reasonable uh, alternative. So it's uh, it's it's not a scheme, it's not a scam. But uh, what what I'm going to do is I'm going to follow uh, one of the UK's coin hunters, a gentleman by the name or his channel's called Laughter, L-A-F-T-A. There's a 2021 uh, Aboriginal elder that's very, very shiny. And the 2021's currently sitting at 2.8 million, million coins of those, but I have a significant amount of really nice, close to uncirculated coins, so I don't, I don't carry those anymore. Similar with the 50 cent pieces. Haven't seen very many 2022 Two dollar coins yet, but that's the way it goes. So this gentleman, uh, laughter, the channel in England, he uh, looks for similar to myself. He noodles through fifty pence and two pounds, and uh, looking for their commemoratives and low, low, vintage, high value coins. And in England, they have a a, a, a coin that is similar in value to our. gold uh, red poppy which is their 2009 Q Gardens 50 pence and here we have a color we have the women's t20 world cup from 2020 it's a little bit dirty but it's our first color for today so I'm happy that we, we've got some color at all and their 50 pence their Q garden 50 pence is worth uh, similar to our red poppy around about 180 to 200 uh, pounds uh, which makes it a very valuable coin to find and the mintage on that is only 210,000 So there was quite a few less than our lowest minted 
moment and it's quite a sort after coin so what i'm going to do and before i get through this hunt hopefully i can get to the explanation but i'm going to start a red poppy fund and i'm going to fund it uh to buy a red poppy to put into the book if i can't find one before the end of the the red poppy uh, fund fill up i will do that and the way that will work and here we have a two dollars with the two dollars on the 20 on the back so that'll be a Australian Olympic team from 2020, the Red Ring of Courage with the um, Mount Fuji and the sun or moon rising or setting behind it. The only coin in the series that has any representation of where the Olympics took place and that goes for both the 2020 and the 2016. They don't have a, a place where it took uh, where the Olympics was, it was just the Australian Olympic team coins. So red ring of courage with the Mount Fuji on it. It's, it's quite nice. So the red poppy fund. So what I'll do is when I find a coin of worth more than face value using eBay and, and averages, I will put up uh, probably on that side exactly how much the um, coin is worth. Um, over face value and on that side I will show um, how much we've got to go and so what I'll do is let's say for instance that this uh, t20 um, two dollar coin was worth more than face value if say it was worth three dollars fifty on the open market and I could sell it for three dollars fifty first of all I take away the original two dollars that it cost me to get it because I've got it at face value out of a roll so it's an extra dollar fifty if I sold it for three fifty, I'd make a dollar fifty. So I'll, I'll put the I'll put the um, the amount over here that it is uh, over face value, and I'll put the dollar fifty over this side with how much we have to go to get to the amount or the number that we're looking for in the in the red poppy fund. It's a bit convoluted, I know, but it'll it'll make sense when I put up the numbers, uh, and you'll be able to see how it goes. So I'll use averages from eBay. So currently I had a look today and there was 45, at least 45 sales of red poppies over the last 10 days on eBay because it's quite a highly traded coin. And the average on, on the last sort of 10 or 11 days was $238. So I'm going to put up a, a figure of 240 a goal for the red poppy fund. fund a goal of $240 and every time we get a coin that's over face value that I could sell I'll put up the amount that we'd, we would make in profit and when we hit the $238 mark or around about that amount I'll buy a red poppy and put it into the book that's how it's going to work and I'm going to carry that across not only this oh look at that we have a 2000 and 17 remembrance coin so that's an over a face value coin so i'll put that for the very first time if i could sell that on ebay well i'll, I'll put that up and put it towards the um red poppy fund and so that you'll see that up now i don't know what that current face value or uh, on that is so it, you you'll only see it on screen i won't tell it to you out loud but that's a that's a great find so far that's the find of the hunt so yes so when we get to the 238 mark we will buy a red poppy and put it into the book so and that's how it will go and it'll go across all the denominations two dollars the one dollars and the 50 cents so i'll have to do this explanation again for those other hunts next time we we speak and here we have a purple henry the octopus from the 30th anniversary of the wiggles so we've got our third color for the day which is great getting third colors in there uh, losing control so that's how it's going to go we're going to i'm going to explain it in the 50 cent hunt as well as the one dollar hunt and it's a bit it's going to be a little bit harder oh there's another yellow and there's another color it was um dorothy the dinosaur so we have the yellow ring of dorothy the dinosaur again from the 30th anniversary of the Wiggles from 2021.
So dollars and fifty cents. Hopefully we can uh, do a bit of a fill up some some of those good coins because you know with the if we can get some in queues and in IFC coins and something like that, um, some errors worth real value. It'd be really nice to get a mule and we can sell we can get the value of those and sell those and get a red property quicker. But before I uh, finish off today, uh, I will quickly go through the Aboriginal elders and then I'll come back and we'll go through what we've found today. Well, I'm back. I found one Aboriginal elder worth of note, and that is the lowest minted year, 2011. It's got a little bit of uh, roller damage on the front. I might keep it, I might not. Uh, let, let someone else find it in decent condition. I do have a number of them, but some people find them very, very hard to find. The 2011, the lowest minted, $2 coin. So, what else do we have? We have the red... Uh, sorry, the yellow ring of Dorothy the Dinosaur from the 30th anniversary of the Wiggles. We have the purple ring of Henry the Octopus from the 30th anniversary of the Wiggles. We have the Women's T20 World Cup, $2 from 2020, and which also came from Woolworths, and as well as the Australian Olympic Team 2020, the Red Ring of Courage. All of those coins came through Woolworths. And then lastly, the plum of the hunt is the 2017 Remembrance Coin with, with the Rosemary. Uh, so that, as you would have seen on the annotation, it's 2.1 million of those. Just had a look on the eBay and for the last, again, uh, 10 to 15 days, the average sale price of one of those is around $8.40. So... I put up six dollars and forty cents towards the red poppy fund. Now I also wanted to thank the uh, laughter. Uh, I did reach out to him to get his permission to use it. He gave me his blessing. Said there's nothing new under the sun. So uh, I'll, I'll put a link down in the description to laughter's channel if you're interested in looking at uh, UK coin tubers and what they do how they noodle uh laughter is very very knowledgeable in his um in what he does in his craft uh, and he as a coin collector he has a vast knowledge of of world coins as well as english coins and he has a very big back catalog of noodles and uh coin showings so there we have it i've got a new goal find as many over face value coins as i can so that i can uh get a red poppy uh, lovely. If I find a red poppy on the way, I, I won't be sneezing at it. I'll tell you, I'll put it in the book. But if we don't get there uh, by finding it through noodling, we'll see what we can do by selling the coins that we do noodle. So thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you've got something out of it. I will see you again in the next couple of days. Uh, so have a good time. See ya.